Hi, my name is Ufon Daniel. We will come back to Jam Tutorials powered by Ed Software Software Technology. Now, okay, Ed Software. Ed Software is a software technology that is aimed at, at improving students in their conference jam, Uzutemi, and was key examinations. Now, looking at evolution, evolution. Now, Evolution can be defined as the development of life in geological It can be defined as the development of life in geological time. And it happens when genetic composition of population changes over successive variations. Evolution continues to evolve from time to time as a change from structures from time to time is known as evolution. Now, under evolution, we have your geological time history. Now, records of life from geological events in Earth history is known as your geological time scale. Now, scientists, geologists, develop the time scale by studying rock layers and fossils worldwide. So, develop this time scale by what? By studying it over time using carbon dating and some other means of media isotopy to study how it changes as time goes on. Now, what are fossils? What are fossils? Fossils are very common word in biology and cultural science. What are fossils? Now, fossils are formed when organisms die and are buried in sediments. Sediments from the word sedimentary. So, fossils are formed when organisms die and are buried in sediments. Now, sediments are pieces of solid materials that have been deposited on Earth's surface by wind, ice, gravity, or chemical precipitation. These are measures of dispersion in which sediments are being formed. Now, a person who studies fossils, that is who studies the remains of organisms in rock, are called paleontologists. Are called paleontologists. They are those who study what fossils, the remains of organisms or rocks. They are called paleontologists. Now, you can see we have types of fossils or kinds of fossils. You have the petrified, the mold, and the cast. You have the petrified, the mold, and the cast. Now, the petrified fossil. When minerals replace the remains and they become rock things like wood, it's called petrified. When minerals replace the remains and they become rock things like wood, it's called petrified fossil. They replace minerals replace remains, it's known as what petrified fossils. They have the mold fossils. Now, when the shells, as you can see in the diagram, when the shells remain and the content dissolve, like in the arts class. When you mold something, those are what your mold fossils. Your mold fossils. You can move them to get the crash of a bowl. Your mold fossils. Then you have your cast fossils. Now, when the mold becomes filled with minerals that are not part of the original organism, it's called what a cast fossil. So you can see a cast fossil is a type or a kind of a mold fossil. Mold is the original substance, but in a cast fossil, minerals are attached to the mold. The minerals are attached and this what it forms a cast fossil. Are we clear? Now, geological time scale divisions. Geological time scale divisions. Now, the geological history of Earth is broken up into geological chunks of time from the largest to the smallest. We have the eons, the eras, the periods, and the era and the epochs. The eons, the eras, the periods, and the epochs. The eons, the eras, the epochs, and the that. So we have the Phenozoic Eon, the Phenozoic Eon. Now, this is subdivided into three major divisions. You have the Paleozoic, the Mesozoic, and the Cenozoic. Evolve in what? Your eons, your eras, your periods, and your epochs. So, now, we are going to evolution fully now. Now, Charles Darwin is called the father of what? Evolution. He's the father of evolution. He proposed a mechanism for evolution, natural and natural selection. So, Charles Darwin, in his article of Darwinism proposed what a mechanism for evolution and what natural selection. Now Darwin went on a five-year trip around the world in his what here in Mess Bible. So he studied how forces developed he traveled around the world. He studied how they moved from one place to another as a child. Now natural selection, natural selection. As said by Darwin, organisms that are best adapted to their environment will survive and reproduce more than Orders. This led to survival of the fittest. So that organism that is best adapted to its environment, that is best suited to the environment, we survive and reproduce more 
than others. And in that case, we need to what we need to stick with an extinction of the words of the other species. Now, Darwin's theory of natural selection occurs in first step. We have over overproduction, we have variation, we have competition, and we have selection. Overproduction, variation, competition, and selection. Now, what is overproduction? Each species produces more offspring that can survive. That is, the more the species produces its organism of its kind, the more their chances of survival. And organism make less number of organisms in that habitat, in that ecological niche, we have a greater chance of extinction. That means the more organisms are produced, the more they tend to survive when they compete and when they breed. So our production leads to what? Leads to higher mass and greater mass of what? Preferred for what? Natural selection. Then we have variation. As a result of sexual production, variation occurs. There is what? There is difference between the organism and its what? And the identical parents. That means it picks genes from each of them and combines them with what variation. Now, each individual has a unique combination of inherited traits as said. Now, adaptation is what is that inherited trait that increases an organism's chances of what survival. You have to adapt to an organism what to survive in the more harsh conditions. And organisms that tend to adapt quickly and faster are those favorites for what natural selection. Now, why is variation important? Now, for organisms to possess variation, they have to what? They have to adapt to what? To new forms. Now, variation is important because the environment changes. And when the environment changes, the organisms tend to what? Change as the environment changes. So as to what? Poster for people to be chosen for what? Natural selection than for them to become what? Extinct. Now, the more variation within a species, the more likely to what? To survive. If organisms of the same kind keep living the same way at the same time, when new and different conditions meet that environment, they are likely to go what, extinct. But if organisms of, this, of the same kind tend to vary and change and learn and grow at the same time, when they are exposed to more harsh or different conditions, they will able to adapt to those changes. Now, the more types of variation, the more variation of type species in habitat, the more likely it was to survive. So the more they vary, the more chance they would they survive. Then competition, competition is the catastrophe of all living things. They must what? They must compete. Now, individuals compete for limited resources. That is food, water, space, and meat. Compete for limited resources. So natural selection occurs through survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest. Now, fitness is the ability to what? Survive and reproduce. Survive and reproduce. Now, note, not all individuals survive to what? To adulthood, as you can see. But the ability for it to what? Survive and reproduce means that what? We are fit. And natural selection of course to what? Survival of the fittest. Compete for food, water, space, and what? And mix. Then we go to the last form selection. Selection. Now, the individuals with the best traits or adaptation qualities will survive and have the opportunity to pass on these traits to offspring. The organisms or individuals with the best traits or adaptations will survive and have the opportunity to pass on these traits to the offspring. That is, natural selection acts on the phenotype, the physical appearance, and not the genotype. Your genes. Your my children will not what will not disturb or will not affect natural selection, but instead your phenotype, the phenotypic ritual, the physical properties of appearance will determine natural selection. For example, in the boxing ring, you have Mike Tyson fighting against a more lanky opponent. So in that fight, you know the favorite and what and the other dogs. That what that is also what determines natural selection. When you have a phenotypic feature that is of a greater mass to body ratio, you tend to what, survive in a more what, in a more harsh environment. For example, when the predator goes on the prey, the chances are what are the predator or what to pounce on the what on the prey. So so far, so good. We dealt with evolutionary production. Let's look on questions from the softer hub. From the softer hub. So,
So I sent the questions from the Sota. No, for the first question, you can see that diagram you train the drugs, the answer is the new generation. Now, please use the diagram you to answer this question. Now, the change in the length of the necks of the giraffe was shown, was brought about by A, natural selection, B, predation, C, symbiosis, and D, geographical isolation. So I thought it was natural selection, natural selection. That's what I adapt to new forms. And that's changed, that's resulted in what the change in the length of the of giraffe. So next question. Now, this is diagram below to answer the question. You have the first animal, that should be the, the cat. Second one is a frog. Then you have a raven and you have a fish. So the correct evolutionary sequence of the organism dependent is what? I mean, which one came first and came next? So I think the fish came first, those were the pieces and rubies. Then you have the water body size two. Then we have three for the ravens and you have the land for size four. So you have D from the fish to the frog to the raven and then the dog. So sequence, millions of years ago. So they evolved like that to the recent time. So four, two, three, one, option D. The next question. So natural process that produces adaptive evolutionary changes is dash A, mutation, B, germ flow, C, genetic drift, and D, natural selection. Most people like this are the same thing. You can see your answers for the option. Your answer is what? Natural selection. Now, natural selection is presented at words that produces adaptive evolutionary changes, natural selection. Exactly. So next question, question four. Now, the wings of a bat and those of a bed are examples of A, coevolution, B, continuous variation, C, divergent evolution, and D, convergent evolution. We didn't choose some of the answer is convergent evolution. The converge, the answer is convergent evolution. So your next question. Now, in the story of evolution, Darwin implied that A, the struggle for existence among living organisms is sporadic, is scattered. B, the most successful organisms are those that best adapt to their environment. C, organs of the body which are only regularly used by organisms will disappear. Four, any traits acquired by an organism during its lifetime can be passed to its offspring. So the answer there is B, the most successful organisms are those that best adapt to their environment. That's the correct answer. Then next question, question six. Okay, so this is number you know, seven. The feature that links beds to reptiles to evolution is the possession of, so what do you think beds and reptiles have in common? A, feathers, B, beaks, C, skeleton, D, scales. Reptiles who have feathers, reptiles who have beaks, don't share skeleton, but they both have scales, so beds have scales. So the answer is skills, skills. Reptiles have skills, you're keeping, so the lizard, the alligator, birds have skills. So next question, question eight. Now, the structure that is common in the embryo of mammals, amphibians, birds, fishes, and reptiles, and which is the evidence of their common ancestry, is the dash, A, I, B, coron, C, alantios, D, gill, slit. So you all surely have the same eye, surely have the same eye, surely have the same eye. Eye is the answer, option A. The next question, question nine. Okay, one study. Okay, now each diagram will answer the question. The same diagram shown in question two. Now we have option I, that is a cat, two is a frog, three is a bird, and four is a fish. Now, oviparity is a type of fertilization exhibited by which organism labeled? Now, oviparity over egg parity. I see what spends its power. So, over the egg, say by option three, beds, beds lay egg. So, your size option three, movie parity. Now, this one, all living organisms are constantly involved in the struggle for existence. This was proposed by A. Lamarck, B. Wallace, C. Morgan, D. Darwin. And size so Darwin. Darwin proposed the struggle for existence, survival of the fittest. Now, 
Next question, an evidence of the relationship between living organisms and their extinct relatives can best be obtained from A, paleontology, B, embryology, C, comparative anatomy, D, comparative physiology. The answer is paleontology, study of what was it. So for the evidence, of extinct relatives, but what you mean about they are fossils, so that will be able to what to, to, to relate between the past and the present to its paleontology study of fossils. Next question. Now, an argument against Lamarck's theory of evolution is that a acquired trait cannot be passed on to offspring. B disease of body parts cannot weaken the parts. C disease parts is dropped off in the offspring. D traits cannot be acquired through constant use of body parts. So that means the theory that what any part of the body that you can use for example, long time will become what, comfortable, will become useless. So answer is B, this is the body part cannot make any parts. Because you didn't need to part of the body doesn't mean the parts become weak. Lamarck's theory of evolution. That was argument against the Lamarck. Now, according to Darwin, the driving force behind evolutionary change is A, natural selection, B, genetic drift, C, mutation, and D, gene flow. That means we stuck on what natural selection. So this is what is the driving force of what evolution. Natural selection is the driving force behind evolutionary change. Next question. Now, each of the food name requires the use of carbon dating. So you tell you to prove that evolution has occurred. Now, carbon dating, is also used in radiography to have the carbon 14 and carbon 12. You are used to what you are used to date, you are used to check what happened in time power. You are used to know the ages of fossils, ages of animals that have lived long, and some other things like that. You also check time, check back, and throw back time pass. So we have what biochemical similarities, molecular records, fossil records, and comparative anatomy. And then it does to be true back or Ancient times, what your fossil, paleontology, study of fossils, since that was the key sediments. So, use what's carbon dating to prove fossil records. Then, next question. So, the following is the most advanced evolutionary development in plants A. Possession of unicellular structures, B. Development of flowers, C. Dispersal of spores, and D. Development of secondary thickening. Now, Possession of these articles of gold from the beginning, where you have your archaeobacteria, your eukaryotic bacteria, and your what, and your kaya. So, those are what are uh, the structures that existed from time. So, they are not what they are not advanced evolutionary changes. Now, flowers, flowers are part of a plant, so they are not what evolutionary, they are not advanced. Spars are spores, plant with flowers through spores, that is not what that is not advanced. But most plants really have been found to what possess secondary thickening. Second thickening, plant are becoming hard to what cut. So as they grow up, second thickening that is what's a more advanced evolutionary change in what plant development of secondary thickening. Next question. Now the fallacy of the fallacy in Lamarck's evolutionary theory was the assumption that a acquired traits are heritable, b acquired traits are seldom formed, c Traits are acquired through the use of body parts. D. Traits are acquired through the use of body parts. So, in the last of it and this use, it says what? It said traits are acquired through the use of body parts. It shows what? Definitely fallacy of what? Of the story. It's like C. So, we go to the next question. Now, the flippers of a wheel and of fins of a fish are examples of. If the parts of a wheel and the fins of a fish are examples of this convergent evolution, convergent evolution. Uh, next question. Now, Darwin is considered the first scientist who correctly explained the theory of A, special creation, B, spontaneous generation, C, use and disuse, D, organic evolution. So it's in special creation, nothing like that in biology, nothing like spontaneous generation, but the law of use and disuse was made known by Jean Lamarck, and Darwin is the father of evolution. So he correctly explained the theory of organic evolution. Next question. 
Now, the figures of a real land, things are which examples of convergent evolution. Then last question. Adaptive radiation is illustrated in A, wings and birds and bats, B, appendages in insects, C, modified insect mouse parts, and D, dentition in animals. So adaptive radiation is illustrated in wings and birds and bats. So thank you. So, so far so good. We spoke on reproduction and evolution. Uh, this is powered by Ed Software, Software Technology Development. And if you have any question, feel free to post a comment in the link and we'll get right back to you. So, reproduction and evolution. We spoke on sexual and sexual reduction. If parts of the male and female the female ecosystem extensively, spoke on the vulva, the uterus, the ovidog, the ova and the eggs, and we spoke on ways in which what asexual production are uh, carried out. We have your body, binary fusion, fermentation, pore formation, and others. We also talked on forms and structures of what the female ecosystem. The main evolution, talk extensively on Darwin, Darwin is sorry of evolution, to natural selection. And so far, so good. It's done justice to the production and evolution. Good luck. So, we are to tomorrow. Stay safe.